Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Right, let me see if I can sit here and talk to you. I had quite a leisurely breakfast with Jas this morning. He was very hungover. He went out for drinks after work yesterday, got back super late, wasted, as were all his colleagues. I saw them all in the lobby. It was quite funny. I didn't go out because I think I've done really well to like fight this cold and I've been drinking Lemsip for the past couple of days. I didn't vlog yesterday because I literally just stayed indoors in the hotel all day and I was either sleeping or working. I got three blog posts written and one is so long, I just split it into two. So I've got four blog posts written and I cleared my inbox. I got so much work done yesterday. I was like, this is the great thing about not doing Vlogmas because it all just takes up too much of my time and I can't just film myself working. So I made the decision not to vlog yesterday and it was great. I think, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I've kind of kicked this cold ass or whatever it was that I had, because I've been having loads of lemon sip. But yeah, so Jas and I had a leisurely breakfast this morning. It was like far later than usual, but he was like, sod it. It's my last day at work. And all of his colleagues, it's actually really funny because all of his colleagues this week have bought their wives, girlfriends, and one guy bought his sister. And so we just keep seeing them in the lounge, like when, whenever all the free food comes out everyone kind of congregates there and at breakfast and it's just like we met this other guy one of his other colleagues who's come on his own and last night he was really funny he was like hey i didn't get the memo why has everyone brought their wives and girlfriends obviously i've been before but this is like the first time everyone's been it just so happened to be the last week i guess because people are like finish work early for Christmas and things like that so it's been really nice just to sort of like see people like see familiar faces all around the hotel but he must have got to work at about 10 o'clock this morning which really isn't like Jas like he's such a good employee I would be like that all the time but this will be the first time in his life he's ever got to work that late but yeah anyway then I came back up to the room had a shower got ready did a bit of work and now I'm going to pack up because I have a late checkout until 2 p.m but I just like to be ready just in case I want to leave earlier or whatever. How good is that, the timing? I tidied up the whole room. I pre-thread two out of four blog posts. The other one's gonna be a bit harder because I've got loads of stuff to add to it. And I've edited this video so far and it is now 10 to two. I haven't heard from Jas, so I assume he wasn't having lunch at one. He might still be having lunch at two, or if not, I think he's leaving work at three and then he'll just eat before we leave. So I am gonna pack up the rest of my stuff, basically this desk, my laptop, and all that sort of jazz. And then I'm gonna head down to reception to check out of our room. Sad times, I really like this hotel. I love staying in hotels so much, even if it's not like on holiday. Like obviously that's a whole different experience if you're on holiday, but even if it's just when Jat is at work, I get so much more work done. I think I get more work done in a hotel room than I do sat in Starbucks and I get more work done sat in a coffee shop somewhere than I do at home. There's just no distractions. I don't have to like worry about putting the laundry on or doing the dishes or prepping dinner or tidying up after myself. There's just nothing else to do. And I'm not one to sit around and watch TV. Like I didn't even watch the final of The Apprentice yesterday. So I just absolutely love it when he works away and I get to go with him because I'm just so productive and I made a list of like loads of blog posts that I want to write yesterday when I was having lunch I wrote them down in my notebook and I figured if I write all these blog posts and I schedule them to go out one a week that is like my blog content sorted until mid-April which is crazy, isn't it? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blog posts. It's insane, which I'm very, very happy about. So I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere with my life and I'm not drowning in vlogmas content. Sorry. I do love Vlogmas. I love watching my videos back, but this year I'm just feeling like I don't want to do it again next year. It just it's too time consuming and the days off that I have. 
Siri was just talking to me. He's listening. Who even, like, this is so weird. Anyway, I need to go before I'm late. Oh, there we go. Sad times. I'm all ready to leave. I'm going to try and do it all in one trip. I have a lot of stuff to take. This whole suitcase is full. And I'm not stealing the hotel slippers this time. Jas will be disappointed, but whatever. Oh, I can't even wheel this damn thing. The wheels are broken. Ugh. Okay, I can't do this. Let's go. I've just come to check out the pools, check out because I actually stayed here twice and I've never used the pool, which is not like me at all. Not a fan of indoor pools though. Yeah, it's not the biggest. I don't feel too bad for like not using the pool now. Yeah, it's it's fine, isn't it? But it's hotel. I thought it, it wasn't very nice either. It really sank a chlorine. My hair looks like it's wet, it's not. But we are now checking out of the hotel. We're leaving at that time. How pretty is there, true? They also have mulled cider and mince pies there that are complimentary. I'm not sure you're driving though. But I love their Christmas decorations. It is chucking it down and we are leaving Hilton Dean's Gate. Sad times, Adria. Eh, yep. <laughs> okay, before we head home, which is going to be a four hour drive minimum in this rain, it'll be five or six because we'll stop at least once or twice on the way home. We are going to go to the vegan supermarket in Chalton. I always go there whenever I come to Manchester to visit my sister and when Jas has been working in Manchester we've been taking the train and so it's quite far out. So, so today while we're in the car we're going to drive there and I'm going to get like and obviously it's rush hour, which is very annoying, so it might take us a while to get there. But they have, I have never seen that many different varieties of tofu all in one place. I'm not even planning to be at home for the next like couple of weeks or do a lot of cooking, so I have to be careful about what I buy. But I'm not going to be coming to Manchester anytime soon, because hopefully Jas won't be working here as of next year onwards. Oh, it was your last day, wasn't it, at work? Yep. How do you feel? Uh, I don't know, it's not sunken yet. It's sunken for me, it's very exciting. For almost two and a half weeks off. If only like you'd have known that. What? We could go on holiday or something. Oh, it's Christmas. It's not two weeks off, it's still after work. Remotely. No, you don't. He doesn't. Anyway, let's go before like we hit loads of traffic. Okay, this is the place we've come to. It's called Unicorn Grocery. Just grabbed a carrier bag. According to my sister, it's Europe's biggest vegan supermarket. I don't know if that's true or not, but this is what she told me a couple of years ago. Uh. artichokes. I don't know how to cook these. I like that like nothing comes in plastic here. Well, a couple of things do, which is quite annoying, but you know, the majority of stuff doesn't. It's pretty cool. And this is where they keep all their tofu. There's so many different types of tofu, but I was really clever because I bought tons of them last time and each time I had one at home, I sent my sister a photo of it on WhatsApp and a little mini review. Like this was okay, I wouldn't buy it again. Or like this was quite nice for the stir fry. These are really nice, but see the filling. And then, really good. There were some like really bad ones as well, but. <laughs> these was, oh, I really like these actually, I remember this. Here they are. They're obviously quite expensive but because it's like they're artisan but it's totally worth it for like once in a while. I'm trying to find stuff for the longest day because obviously we're not going to be here 2020 which is perfect. This is so cool that like you can bring your own containers to fill up. I always see these on YouTube but there's like nowhere near me that does stuff like this 
I guess you'd have to get in central London, but it's such a cool idea. Oh my god, I've been far too excited in this shop to vlog, but I've been looking for this for ages because my local Chinese supermarket doesn't do like a fish free red curry paste. So exciting. I love being able to like walk into a supermarket and just not even have to check labels and know that I can eat everything in here. <laughs> I love that grocery shop so much. I wish we had one like that in London. It's very expensive though. We bought so many different types of tofu, all the ones that kind of go off in February and March, so we have plenty of time to eat them. And we bought one lot of tofu sesame burgers that go off on the 23rd of December, so we'll have them at some point this weekend before we go home for Christmas. And I also picked up a banana split milkshake for my journey. You guys know how much I love milkshake. Whenever I find like a dairy-free version, I want one. It's not going to be quite the same as like a Ferrero Rocher one in like a restaurant, but it'll keep me going for a bit on the journey. Oh, I love Chawton in Manchester so much. This high street is near where my sister used to live, and there's so many like hipster cafes and like just great places to just sit and work from. They all do like oat milk flat whites. It's kind of like the Shoreditch of Manchester from what I hear. And it's just a really cool place. We've eaten at so many of these restaurants. I don't know what this road is called and you can't see very well because it's dark. Just got himself a flap track which is just there. But yeah, you won't really be able to see. What does it say? How long to we... <gasps> Three hours and 34 that's minutes, that's without yeah. stopping. That's like some good traffic. Oh, which means we get home at 20 past yeah. nine. We're not getting home before 10 pm today, so it's gonna be a great drive home and a great, like, freaking vlog. Talk about content. I apologize, but there's nothing I can do because this is my life. Oh. <laughs> he loves flapjacks, I really don't. It is 10 p.m. I've just got home. I was a terrible road trip companion. I fell asleep for like half the journey. But now we're just unpacking the bits we bought from Unicorn. And we were going to get a takeaway, but like we're not really that hungry, are we, Jess? Yeah. We bought some freezer food the other day. We're like, we literally never have freezer food, which is obviously a good thing. We bought some like veggie burgers and some chips because Jess wanted burgers the other day. And there was like four burgers in a pack, so we've got two left. So we might just have that, because I want something light to eat. What do you think? Yep. Beans on toast. We picked up some bread from a petrol station, just so that we have something. So yeah, I'm gonna unpack all this food. Let me just show you quickly what I bought. Ignore the mess that is my life. Um, just bought this juice. Coarse and Press Apple and Rhubarb. He also bought a flapjack for the journey. I picked up, oh, why does it never focus? Tofu with wild garlic. Um, tofu with almonds tofu fillets with wild garlic these were great so i picked up three packets of the wild garlic fillets i picked up two lots of the wild garlic tofu because that lasts until march so we've got plenty of time and two of the almond i didn't end up having this in the car um on the way here definitely this thai red curry paste wherever it's gone this one is vegan this is ajva i think it's a Serbian sort of chili paste type thing, but it looked really good. These, we had them once before. I checked my review that I sent my sister and I wrote that they were super filling, but they were really nice. The unfortunate thing was the longest date we could find was the 23rd, so we're gonna have to eat these this weekend. And last but not least, I thought this looked really interesting. Fig and balsamic dressing. This will cost just over 30 quid, so obviously, it is quite a pricey supermarket, <laughs> but oh well. Oh, I just found these in the freezer. I bet I won't like them because I never actually like anything, but I'm gonna give these a go. And we have some oven chips, and that is gonna be our gourmet dinner for this evening. I feel like such a chav showing you my dinner. <laughs> I promise I eat better than this normally. But yeah, this is my dinner. These really puffed up in the oven. Hopefully they taste good and they're not dry. I've just got a really bad feeling they might be, but hopefully the cranberries like keep it moist i hate that word so much sorry i'm gonna eat my dinner and i'll report back and let you know what i thought of these and i think we're gonna watch santa girl i feel like i've seen every single netflix christmas movie so 
maybe Santa Girl, Jess? Yeah. He hates that I make him watch these. That was such a good film. What did you think, Jess? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> it was alright. Was... Okay, when he says that, he means it was really good. So I highly recommend that. I was just trying to find on Netflix. There's another one that we watched. It's a Christmas film. Um, it's got Charlotte from Sex and the City in it. I can't find it. It's really weird because Netflix doesn't show you your history, does it? If you guys see that, definitely watch that one because that one was really good too. And those turkey plat things that I had for dinner were surprisingly okay. Like, I wouldn't buy them again, but they were nice enough for like one meal. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here because it is just, oh my god, it's just gone half twelve. So I'm going to end this video here and I will see you tomorrow for day 20. I just googled it. The film is called Holiday in the Wild. So that is one of my Netflix recommendations if you're looking for something that's not that cheesy but like really good to watch for Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Bye.